I'm Charlie Johnson with Maverick Boat Company. Today I'm going to be taking you through the Pathfinder 2200 TRS. Great boat for us. You know, a lot of us at Maverick fish and we also have families. So one day we might be out doing a redfish tournament, next day fishing along the beach for tarpon, and then the next day pulling our kids for, on an inner tube. This is what this boat is designed for. It fits that user profile perfectly. It's a very versatile boat. It's very economical with a nice 150, a great performance option. Let's have a look at it. Now that we're in the water here, let's go take a walk through the boat. We'll start up here at the bow. Of course, this is where you're gonna be spending the, most of your time when you're angling. Uh, great big open space here, very nice. I'm nice and high and elevated. I can see well out in front of me if I'm sight fishing, that sort of thing. It's big enough where I can have two people up here. If I'm cast netting, I can throw the cast net. I'm not worried about taking a little misstep, falling off this front deck or anything like that. Real nice open area. Here we have a flush mount uh, stainless steel cleat that's throughout the boat. Five cleats standard on the boat, all flush mount. Moving back here to the anchor locker. Big opening here, as you can see. We have our stay spring there. Notice that the hinges, not only are they back netted, but they're on the side of the anchor locker. The, anchor, the lid here opens up out of your way. Um, let's face it, uh, anchors are just a necessary evil. You gotta have them, but uh, they're a hassle to use, especially if you have an ill-conceived or poorly designed anchor locker. This makes it very nice and easy. You don't pull out the road chain, have a big old bird nest or anything like that. Very easy to use the anchor locker with this setup here. All right, we'll drop that. Very easy to do. Move them back here. Here's on the secondary deck. Nice big open area once again. I'd fish down here maybe if there were some uh, seas. I was a little un uncomfortable about being up there. The kids, this is a great spot for them to fish from. Also big enough where you can easily put a sun lounge in here. We have an offer a nice sun lounge cushion up front. You could lay out here. Works fairly well. Once again, big, nice open area. Stepping further back, we look into this big bow storage lid here area and a nice gas shock assisted lid compression latch once again deep lid truss here nice gasket lids it stays very dry in here nice open easy to get to easy to see exactly what you have down in there all right close that we'll move back here and we'll look at the rod lockers they would need to spend some special time here uh, so often the rod lockers and boats are poorly designed uh, these are really nice because this allows you not only to use rod, I mean, use the rod lockers and pushing the rods up against these racks here, but it opens up the inside of the box so that you can put things in there along with the rods. Or if you decide not to have rods in there, you can still use these boxes because they go all the way forward. Too often, you see a boat on the showroom floor, it looks like it has a great rod locker box. This opening's too small. It's very difficult to get the rods in and out of that box. It ends up basically being useless. And because it has rod rocks in it, you can't use it for storage anyways. So it just becomes a dead box. First, we'll talk about the front of the console here. This is a really, really great setup. I open that. We have a nice tackle tray in here. What's nice about this is this is a place you can put your Plano boxes, all your rigging gear. It's very accessible any place in the boat. You don't have to, if you break off or you have to re-rig, you don't have to get in a hatch, you don't have to get in a bag to get your gear out, you don't have to move somebody out of the way or make a bunch of noise. Really nice feature to have the gear sitting right here, um, very accessible. Nice locking hatch, you can leave it in the boat overnight, you're not going to have an issue with it. That opens up right here, this co falls completely down, and you have full access and servability to the back, serviceability to the back of your console here. Really nice, you can get in there, work on things, get to the back of your electronics. Nice open area in there. Close this up. Easy to do. We'll sit on this cushion, right like this. Nice big backrest here. You can fit two little kids up front here. My little boys love riding up here on the front of the boat. Nice, everybody's covered. Good spot to ride. All right, now we're back here at the helm area. Um, first thing to notice, very nice and clean. You have a big open ha area here for your big electronics. Um, not a lot of plastic, faux panels, anything like that. Not stuff that's going to look in the showroom and, and good in the showroom and two years later be all weathered out. Very clean concept here. Everything's right at your fingertips. You have a nice backlighted switch panel with lighted 
switch tip so you know which switches are on and off. Everyone's labeled so you don't have to guess on which switch is for what. Um, you have the steering wheel right here at, your, right here at fingertips. A nice binnacle here. Everything's very easy. No reaches. When that binnacle's engaged, you can be right down here on the trim tabs without taking your hand off the binnacle. So everything's very easy to reach, accessible, very nice. Um, right below here, you have a nice glove box. There's your breaker panel. You have also another breaker panel for your switches right there. This is a great place for your wallet, keys, cell phone, all that, anything that needs to be accessible. Close that up. Another thing to note here is you can do you can run this boat in a number of different positions, and so you can be very very comfortable no matter how how your size is or what kind of sea conditions are. First off, if you like running the boat like this, you can tuck your feet up underneath the uh, the tow kick here. That's really nice. You feel locked in. You can sort of lay back, real nice and comfortable that way. If you prefer to sit up on the leaning post, you have this nice. Toe pod, our foot pod here. It's an all fiberglass piece, not plastic, not going to yellow on you a couple years down the road. This is real comfortable, big enough for the passenger to put their feet in as well. Or if you just want to put your feet back on the, on the uh, leaning post here on the foot rest there. So three different options depending on how you run, like to run your boat and how you like to sit. So that's, that's really nice. Now we're going to take a look at this. Here, of course, we have a leaning post. And below that leaning post, we have this nice bucket here. Okay, I use this for just about everything on my boat. I put my, my uh, boga grip in here. I put leader material, anything I want to access very quickly. This is a great bucket in here um, for just about anything. You can use it for whatever you like. That goes back very easily. Notice here, real thick, nice cushions, uh, very comfortable. Double seam there, very nice, uh, high grade foam. So you're not gonna have any, a lot of deterioration issues or anything like that going down the line. You have your big lean, uh, backrest right here. That is removable, easily pulls out. You have the swivel arms back here. You can go ahead and put that in your forward box if you'd like, if, uh, if you wanna remove that. And then you have the rod holders here. So you have five rod holders here in this uh, fiberglass pod back here. You can use uh, three even with the foot the uh, backrest in or you can use all five you also have nice cup holders before i get on the back deck i want to talk about the drains nice stainless steel drains down in the floor not up on the aft bulkhead where you're going to have water accumulate dirt grime this evacuates all the water in the bottom of the boat really nice clean setup no toe stubbers anything else getting back up here on the back deck first thing note Look how big it is. I think oftentimes that's forgotten in bay boats. Most everybody thinks all the fishing's done on the bow, and there's a lot of fishing that's done on the bow, but at the same time, if you use the boats like we use them a lot, fish offshore, that kind of stuff, a lot of your fishing's off the back end. And what it is, what it is a lot of times that's forgotten in a lot of bay boats. You have a really short, small deck. You can't move around on it. If one lid's up, your, the back deck is completely, um, basically completely cluttered. Not so here. So I'm gonna step down and go through this a little bit. Here, nice integrated jump seats down. Nice high backrest here. Not so high that you couldn't turn around and be watching a skier. It's a great place for the kids, great place for adults. Nice high grade hinges here. Um, they're not going to rust out on you or anything like that or get hard to move. You have a nice latch that keeps that down um, when you're trailering the boat. Uh, if you look under here, big open storage area down there. It's a great spot to keep PFD, something like that. Note how we already talked about the big bow storage area. Um, we already talked the rod locker boxes, so now we have three storage boxes. Now we're talking about a fourth storage box here. Put this down, have the same thing on the other side, right here. A fifth storage box below this seat. So there's a whole lot of storage on this boat. What's really nice is you can segregate all your stuff. You don't need to have your cast net sitting next to your rain jackets or your, um, if you're out snorkeling, your snorkeling gear sitting next to your dry beach bag. So you can move everything, separate it out. It's really nice. Now let's talk about the live well a little bit. I think it's pretty well known that Pathfinder makes the best live wells in the industry. Um, I want to take a minute and go check out our live well demonstration videos. You'll learn a whole bunch, a bunch about these live wells. But suffice it to say, uh, these live wells are exceptional. They have a dual inflow system, they have bottom to top train system, um, hidden standpipe out of the way so you can't get anything hung up on it, big wide opening, 
uh, nice oval concept in there. It's superb live well. So take a look at those live well de demonstrations and get a f full feel of that. But uh, great live well is going to keep your baits lively for a very long period. Moving back to this hatch. This is a dry storage area. Once again, we talked about all the various dry storage on the boat. This is another one. Great place for your snorkel gear, great place for your ski ropes, keeping it away from every, every place else. You always know where it is. Goes in there. It also can be used as an optional release well if you, if you like chumming or something like that. So added box back here. And then coming over to this side, great big opening box here to get into your rigging. Very clean easy access you have your battery sweat switch back here can be accessed from outside of the boat easily very nice your fuel water separators down here very easy to work in here you have your live well pump you have your seacock valve easy to get to in our live well demonstration part two you can see how all, how easy that is to access all that all right and then finally moving all the way back here a nice uh, swim platform here that allows you to, that comes standard with the boat. Great for entry and access in the boat. Really finishes off this boat for using it. And like we said, some days you tube out of the boat, some days you fish out of the boat. So this is a really nice added feature here. Comes standard on the boat. Finally, back here talking about the power package. Boat runs really well with an F-150. Very economical pass package. Great gas mileage. We expect about 90% of the boats to be bought with the F-150. You can also go all the way up to a 200 on it. All right. Well, thanks for spending time with me this morning on our 2200 TRS. Very versatile boat, great performer, great for the angler, great for the family person. Um, just does about everything you needed to do in a bay boat.